That's something to funk with the whole streaming thing. What helps you get out of it? I'm gonna be honest with you. I am the same way right now. I just, uh, let me pause. I think, let me mute this clown ass music before I answer this. Um, what helps me is y'all, to be honest with you. And, uh, uh, how do I look at this? So like, you know, I get, I get messages a lot about how stream helps people. And so I kind of just look at it as to that, like even on days when like, I'm not, uh, great or even good to be real with you um i think just showing up kind of helps and sometimes it's a it's a mutual thing right like so me showing up can help somebody but like y'all showing up also helps me some right and so even like like I, i've said it i said it yesterday like um i feel like last two weeks uh have been like mid as fuck and I've been in kind of a mental funk at, at least. And uh, you guys still showing up means a lot and it helps. And uh, I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. And so that's just kind of how I look at it. Um, I feel like the only way to get out of a funk is to just keep pushing through. You know what I mean? Instead of just wallowing in it. I feel you, but I don't really have a community like that. But I'm so, tr so I'm trying. You got it. You got it. Just know, Meg, like, then school too. Yeah, there's a lot. There's life. Life be life in right. But if you know that you enjoy something, the only way out a lot of times is to just push through it. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of like I don't really watch baseball a lot, but I hear it all the time. Like pitchers get in funks all the time, and the only way they do it is to keep pitching, right? You just keep. You just keep at it, and eventually, like you'll look around, and you'll be like, "Man, I'm feeling kind of better." But make sure, like. Make sure that you're also doing it for you, too, right? Don't just do it because you feel you have to. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you do it because it's something that you want to do. If you don't want to stream a day, don't stream a day. But um, if, if, if it's something that you enjoy, do it. Even if it's, like, for a little bit. It ain't got to be, like, 10 hours like that one stream you did. You know what I mean? Like, it, sometimes you show up just for yourself, too. They haven't been mid. I don't, I don't know how to say it softly because I call some passive aggressive shade from women in the chat about for my ethnicity. Huh. Um uh, yeah, what? Yeah. Just know that um we love you. I'm often lurking in there because I'm working, but I very much enjoy your streams and you know, I feel like Getting in, getting in funks and in ruts and stuff like that is normal. Like I said, I'm there right now. I'm there right now. That's why I have to keep saying when I go, I'm great, because that's my natural. That's my natural reaction. Like you know, it's okay not to be. And you know, we're slowly working out of the being mid thing. That's goofy as fuck. For real, it is. It is. But uh, yeah, you know, you just kind of got to work through it sometimes. I don't know if you're like me, but like I know that like it's not always gonna be this way. You just gotta kind of, you just gotta kind of work through it. And so, like, uh, to make it about me for a second, like, like I said yesterday, I've just been, like, you know, feeling mid as fuck. And that the, because of that, because of mentally, that um, streams have been mid, too. And uh, a lot of my personal interactions have been as well. And uh, it just means a lot that y'all are still here regardless. <laughs> because I, I uh, like I said, I don't want to waste your time. And I, I feel like I have been. And, you know. I think sometimes, you know, we go through things and it's okay to just be there in whatever capacity that you can. Because you're not always going to be 100%, right? You're not. And so it's, it's impossible to expect yourself to be at 100% at all times, right? And so it's okay to, to show up as you are. It is. And know that whether it's 10%, 1%, 100%, 1,000%, know that I love you. I support you. I believe in you regardless, you know? So yeah. Yeah. That's, that is it. That is it. Agreed scratch. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's only human, like nobody, nobody ever is a hundred percent. And if you look at social media, it looks like people are a hundred percent because it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's just a, they pick and choose what moments to show. Right. And so you don't necessarily see the, the vulnerability and when people are having the rough times. You know what I mean? 
That's what it is. And so you feel pressured to be like that you're – you feel pressured to be 100% all the time. Scratch waste of time now, man. I check in while I uh, work to help get me through my day. I'm glad. I'm glad that it helps. I'm glad. Love you, Scratch. I love you. I feel like you forgot you to go for real. See, like, that's one of them things, like, I talked about impress and, and uh, I talked about um, imposter syndrome yesterday. Like, I just don't agree. You know what I mean? I just don't. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Optical illusion. You're never wasting time and we love and support you too. No, I, I appreciate it. I'm just saying, like, it's okay not to be 100%. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm saying. Facade. Like, I'm just saying, like, no, like, it's okay to be in a funk, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody does. Like, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> I want it right now. You know what I mean? People put on their best face for social media, but it's not realistic. Exactly. And so because of that, we feel like, um, we feel like we have to be 100% and okay all the time. But it's okay not to be okay, right? And it's okay to not enjoy the things that you normally love to do at times. That's that's just being human, right? That's my problem. Lately, I've been feeling like if I stream, I'm going to be forcing it. And if you feel like you're going to be forcing it, don't do it. Because at the end of the day, Meg, like, if you're having fun, Chad is having fun, right? And if you're not having fun, they can kind of recognize it. Unless, like, you know, you're like the world's greatest actor, right? And so you got to make sure that you take care of number one first. And that's you. Just remember that, like, you know, you're important too. You're not just, uh, you're not even been having much fun, really. Yeah. And so if you're not having fun, don't, don't force it. Because then you're going to start hating it, right? And the whole reason you started was because you, you'd enjoyed it, right? And so if you're forcing something, like, it's just going to take the fun away from it. You know? That's what it is. And so take your time. Take your time. You know? I don't know. I've been feeling myself slip back in depression. I hate it here. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. People should take more uh should talk more about when they're not okay for real. You know why I don't? So I have two reasons, and I know they're kind of ridiculous. I have two reasons why I don't. Especially like when I'm streaming. I don't. Because a lot of time, like I said, I get messages about how it helps people, and people ain't really here for people. People ain't really here to be to hear me be like, "Yeah, I'm sad most of the time." You know what I mean? So, um, and I just don't like bothering people. I don't. I I know like people, and I've been yelled at it before. I know that people have their own stuff happen. I know that they do. And I know that like you know some people still want to be there regardless, but I know people got their own shit happening. So like I just prefer to, you know, like. Just deal with it myself. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to do as a man for real. It's just hard to do in general for some people. You know what I mean? I think that's like a lot of life trauma. Sometimes like it's either you uh, you opened up to somebody and it went wrong or you didn't grow up in an environment where that was really welcomed. I just, you know, a lot of people getting in patterns and it's just, it's hard. It's hard to break out of that. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't talk about it every day because I'm sad every day. Yeah, like, you, you, like that's what I'm saying, Ozzy. Like, there's only so many times I can show up here and be like, yeah, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible here. You know what I mean? Before, it's like, okay, yeah, we get it, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? For those who need it, uh, try and listen to Bozzy. I don't think I'm okay. And no one wants to hear me whine about the same BS every day. You know? I feel it. And so, you know. Um, but yeah, Meg, it's perfectly okay to not be okay. You don't have to be perfect every day. And if anyone expects you to be perfect every day, that's just ridiculous to be real with you. And so, um, take, take whatever time you need until you feel like you don't have to be perfect, but until you feel like you can enjoy it again, you know? And, uh, yeah, just be kind to yourself, be kind to yourself. It's one of the better things I can say. You know, don't get too down about yourself for for uh, being depressed and stuff. You know? I suffer from clinical depression and anxiety from the military. You guys are my serotonin for real. Yeah, like, it's like I said, it's kind of a mutual thing, right? Like, me being here could help somebody. I still, like, don't, don't necessarily understand it, but, uh, you know, it helps some people. And, like, y'all being here uh, helps me sometimes, too. And so I think it's like a mutual, it's a, it's a, it's a mutual thing. 
I get it for real, but I don't mean talking about streams. Just talk about with some people you trust. Talk about it with family, with friends, with your partner. Yeah, that's good advice. If if that's like welcome me, uh, me, I'll be real with you. I don't necessarily uh, uh, have a lot of those relationships, but it's okay. It's okay. I you know, it's okay. Normally for me, like it just takes me a little bit. It takes me a little bit, and I'll be cool. Honestly, I think there are quite a few of us feeling depression extra lately. One thing to take into account is we are approaching these months where it's extra hard. To make sure you take the time to take. Can you hear? You can probably hear me like fidgeting. Um, take the time to take care of yourself and your mental health. You don't have to share with everyone all the time. Definitely find your support system somewhere and give yourself grace. Yeah. Every day is another day to walk in line and find the answers together. I agree. I use laughter as escape. Same. I uh, I use a lot of distractions. I'll be honest. And so that's the other reason why I don't talk about it a lot. To be fair. Because I feel like, you know how some people, like, they say, like, sports was a way to distract themselves from, uh, like, the real life happenings? That's kind of what I, that's kind of what I uh, use stream as, too, right? Sometimes people just need a time to not think about what's happening in their lives. And so, you know, I don't want to, like, sabotage someone's, uh, someone's escape and then, uh, you know, uh, to have them feeling worse. I mean, so, yeah, yeah, but yeah, Meg, it's okay. It is, it is a okay. Know that you're loved, and that uh, we will be there when you're ready. Don't feel forced. Don't feel pressured. Do what you uh, do. What do what makes you happy, and try to get to a place where at least you're okay. All right. And if you need anything, um, by all means, let me know. Sorry for rambling so long. <laughs> I. Uh, Sorry for rambling. I know I can. I know I can be a chatter, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, best friend to hang out. Enjoy Demon Slayer. Enjoy Demon Slayer for real. Enjoy it. Love y'all. We love you. We love you. Mm. It was for any of you. My DMs are always open for love and support. You're helping me, like for real, for real, like for real. If I hadn't found your channel, I'd still just be sleeping in bed and not doing much except for when I need to go to physio, the hospital, doctors, or therapy. I've literally had no life since the accident, and being here in this community has given me joy and a sense of purpose in the world again. I love you all for that, and I'm so glad that you're here. I am. I am. I'm really glad that you're here, to be honest. That's what stream is for me. Usually, a place where I escape life and just be here for the people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so I try not to. Uh, I try not to sabotage like that, that space with uh, you know other issues, and so yeah, just know, just know like if you're going through anything, like we love you, and uh, always happy to listen whenever. And again, sorry for rambling, as I am a chatter, I am a chatter, so yeah, yeah. But it's okay not to be okay, you know. I feel like there's gonna be days where you just you ain't got it, you just ain't got it. And that's all right. You know? It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because this community has been everything for me for real. Like, the community is the community is great, man. It is. It's got to be like this. We're here regardless. May as well talk it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, hugs, for, hugs all around. Hugs all around. Drink you some water. Get you some good eats. Treat yourself well. Um, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, make sure. Let me see some food. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hug everyone. Big hugs. Big hugs. It's all right, Meg. No, we love you. Another thing, I'm so lonely at school. It happens, man. It happens. Just... Sometimes at school, as hard as it is, sometimes you got to push out the comfort zone to try to join something. Like maybe try to join like an organization that does something that you like, Meg. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the better things. It's so easy to just be like, yeah, I'm not going to. Sometimes, especially at college, you got to like, you got to you gotta get out there, unfortunately. You're not rambling. You're showing love and support to people who love and support you, and that's beautiful. I just feel like I'd be, I'd be chatting and kind of repeating myself a little too much. I can, the I can attest to the community being light through my darkness. I am so glad it is. Three more weeks, you got this, Meg. Scratch, I freaking adore you. Genuinely a good human. I'm thankful to know you. Yo, I'm glad that you're here. And I, I appreciate you, Rascally, for real. 
That means a lot. Like, for real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have no idea how grateful I am to be a part of this community. I'm glad you stayed. Like, I, like, I, it, people, like, it, find it a little weird that I remember where most people came from, and I'm, I'm glad that you stuck around after, uh, after Drew, after Drew raided. I am. Like, you are very valuable. I hope you know that. Great person. And I'm, I'm, like, very lucky to know you. You the light? Yep. Star J Barrett, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. I tried to join and get told no. F them. Yo, like, it, I know, like, you got three weeks, maybe next semester's a semester, but I hope that you find, find something. Man, my own stream. I'm here for being real with you or anyone really. Streaming person helps distract my mind to extent. Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. W follow. Jerk Shicey brought me here. Hey, W jerk. W jerk for real. I appreciate the follow for real. For real. Thank you so much. Sorry, we were just like, uh, I was rambling a little bit. So if I'm just caught uh, some just loafing and lacking, we blew down three ops. What should I do? I hear sirens. Run, 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 run. I don't know that, but it's nice to hear. I mean it. And I will tell you every single day. I will. My chat keeps reconnecting for some reason. But yeah, I will tell you every single day because I mean it. I mean it. Hush up. No, Ash, Ash, you are a big light for real. You are. You are, you are, you are. You are. Like, I didn't really laugh all day yesterday, Ash, until that comment, to be real with you. Until until you, till you, uh, till the monkey comment yesterday. yesterday. You know what I mean? Gonna go to Grandmammy House and lay low as you should. As you should. As you should. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. That was whole hinge of me for real. It was funny though. It was funny as hell. It was. I found you through demo because you kept using your emails in my chat. Yo, I'm glad you're here, Meg. I am. Y'all asked me stressing us out all out on God. For real, bro. For real. Just like, yeah, man. Y'all are all lights. Know that. No, I don't. You do sometimes. You do. You do sometimes. You do. You do. You do, you do, you do. Unhinge is the best. It is. It is, it is, it is, it is. Now I'm stressed, de stress. De stress, because we're about to we're about to deal with this fucking clown that's in this game. Uh yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I am darkness. No. No 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 no. Unemo. Unemo. And a community without the community, y'all, that is very true. That's very true. Without y'all, like I don't think y'all know, like, how much you've uh, bettered life. Like, I don't know. Y'all see it in a few months. I say it all the time. But I made a video about, I'm not going to say everything I said, but, like, one of the, it, like, you know, on New Year's you make resolutions and goals and stuff. But I was tired of making, bet like, resolutions. Like, I will do this. I will do this. I just kind of made, like, an I hope, an I hope video. And one of the things was, like, I hope to find, like, a a uh, a place where I belong. Right? And I did. I did, I did, I did. And I wouldn't have without y'all, you know? So, know that each one of y'all is a blessing for real. Like a huge blessing. So, yeah. It's real shit. It's real shit. That is real shit. You know? We're be going to cry real quick. <laughs> it's just real, man. It's real. Like, I say, I, I've joked about it a couple times. I never really understood when, like, content creators would, like, look in the camera and be like, yo, I love y'all. I'd be like, these motherfuckers do not, they do not fucking love us. And some of them don't. Some of them don't. But, like, legitimately. Like, heart, soul, everything. I love y'all. I do. Like, I do, man. Like, for real. Like, y'all believe in me when I don't believe in me. That's crazy. You know, I've been having a rough day, so it's making me mad emotional for real. Same, man. I told you, like, it's been a, it's been a rough, it's been a rough few weeks for me. You know, 
I love y'all. I love you. I do. I do, I do, I do. And so, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty easy to get emotional. But, yeah, man. That's real. That's real. That is real. Love you more? Let me tell you something. It is physically, scientifically, logically, Im like, scratch, cry right now? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> it is impossible for you to love me more than I love you. It is. It is, like, quite literally impossible to love me more than I love you. You know what I mean? Someone chopping onions? Y'all making me emotional? I didn't really expect to have, like, because I feel like yesterday was just me being like, yo, I know you won't. Yeah, like, I... Uh, we just, you know, I'll shed a thug tear. Let me poke myself in the eye real quick. I got you. You know, I'll shed a thug tear. It's possible because I'm doing it right now. It's not. It's impossible. It is literally impossible for y'all to love me more than I love you, for real. It is literally impossible. I, like, to, I was going to say I dare you to try, but you just, like, you know, you just wallow in failure because you just can't. You just can't. It's not. It's not possible. I don't want you wallowing, for real. You know what I mean? You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't really know how to segue back into Now we love you more for real. I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. See, even Nightbot, Ash, it's like, it knows. It knows it's just not possible. You know? It just doesn't. It knows it's, it knows it's not possible. So, I don't know what to tell you. Night bought a op. It's just trying to help you out for real. Because how awkward would that have been had you did that and it was like, Ash loves scratch 0%. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? We'll agree to disagree. I think we're going to have to. Could you imagine if that had done that? That would have been crazy. It's been one of the hardest years of my life, and I believe I found my way here for a reason. Crazy. Uh, when I'm starting to doubt my place here, some of y'all have a way with reassuring me. I belong without even knowing that's 